If you want to learn how to make ice cream, why don't you check out Sunday School? Hey, how's it going? It's Martin Ross, and today we're breaking down MC Hammer's Pump and a Bump. But before we get into it, you know the drill. Check out my sound library source. Links are in the description. Also, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button and click the subscribe button and hit that bell so that way you get updates straight to your device. And most important, if you know somebody that likes the video, please share it. Help my channel grow. And uh, yeah. Let's make it happen. Let's break it down. All right, so we're breaking down MC hammers, pumps, and a bump. I'm doing this at 106 BPMs. The first thing that I noticed when I heard this, the first thing I noticed was Atomic Dog by George Clinton. So uh, I'll just play the sample. Um, so the sample is going to be like about six, seven, ten seconds into the song, and you're going to hear this. All right. And essentially, that's all I'm using for the sample. Um, it's going to sound a little off. That's what I did when I played it. So here's what it sounds like uh, in playback. It, 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 it comes through every like other uh, measure. So it sounds kind of off, right? To fill that, that void, there's two things you want to do. You want that lead and the bass, all right? So for the lead and the bass, let's talk about the bass first. So for the bass, the notes that I got going on is an A sharp. I have a C sharp. I have an F sharp, I have a G sharp, and I have A sharp. And essentially, those notes are going to be the fundamental notes that you're going to be using throughout the song. So I'll go ahead and play what the bass sounds like. So I also added that little um, that bump right here. I added that little uh, G sharp to make it kind of funky-ish. Um, there's no swing. Well, there is there is swing, uh, but very gentle swing. For the famous part, that lead, that lead, I'm using a C sharp, D, E, going back to a D, back to C sharp. Then I'm going to go up. Now, I, I went to E because E felt easier. It felt more uh, realistic to play and to F sharp, back to E and then C, and then we're just going to repeat that over and again. Again, folks, this is just me going off my ear. I'm not a, uh, I go, I don't have perfect pitch, so I just hear the song and feel how it goes. So not everything's going to sound perfect, but this is my closest um, representation of the song. So let's hear that lead. And that fills that gap. So I'm going to play the bass and the lead with the sample so you can see what I did there. So going to the next part, there's a break and you hear these horns. Now, when I did my research, Teddy Riley isn't mentioned as a producer in there, but he is on the song. I hear him do the vocoder, I believe, with Aaron Hall. Um, and one thing you have to know about the music industry, if you're not the main like producer, or let's say I have someone play a few songs for me or whatever, back then they would, they would probably not put you on the um, list as a producer. I didn't see Teddy Riley's list on the producer, but the reason why... I believe Teddy Riley had some uh, production in this song is because brass construction moving. Teddy Riley uses that throughout a lot of Michael Jackson's songs. Now, I, I understand people can sample any sound. You know, there's a, other New Jack Swing um, producers. But Teddy Riley was like, he was the very key to these certain type of samples. That's the only reason why I know that Brass construction was used on the sample. I want to play that part with the break here, with just the bass, the sample, and the lead. All right. All right, let's just hear that sample. Teddy Riley used the heck out of that. I don't know. I think he was a, a producer on that, but. Um, He's not, his name is not mentioned on the producer's list. So there you have it. So the B, the intro is a, a synth slide. I just resampled it from the song and played it. All right, so everybody's favorite part. But before we get into that favorite part, if you're still watching this, hit a like button, leave a comment.
and share the video. While you're at it, subscribe. Subscribe. Most people that are watching these videos aren't subscribed, so subscribe for me, please, subscribe. So the next part is the drums. The drums are really simple. Now, I, I didn't do all the exact same samples. I threw in my shameful plug, Zorus Sound Library drums in there. So this is all from the Zorus Vibe Kits. Uh, check that out, links in the description. But I have a tam, I have a kick, I have uh, a hat that's just steady, no swing, and I have my shakers. So my tam and my shakers are swung a little bit, and then I put a bunch of uh, layered snares. Now, I was asked previously when I was breaking these things down, what, what do you mean by layered snares? Sometimes snares don't sound great. You want like a top, a bottom, and a mid. Sometimes you want all around. And Obviously playing the drums, you know, you could get that, but if you're doing samples, you have to work with the samples. So I'll play the snare uh, group real quick. So it's just three snares. All right, so let's hear the drums all together. This was pretty much the 90s style uh, drums here. There it is, folks. We've dissected it. Let's hear what it sounds like. This doesn't start on a one, it's on a pickup. So we go to the pickup and then start it on the one. Do it. I was a kid, I was, my dad did not like me listening to rap music. He, he did not want me listening to that. All right, so there you have it, Pumps in a Bump by MC Hammer. Um, again, I believe Teddy Riley was instrumental in making this beat. He didn't get credit for it, I don't know. I don't know the whole story, but I've been in the situations where I've put some production effort in there, I didn't get credit for it, so I don't know. But if you are wondering, and I, I noticed people thought the same thing too, if you're wondering, I, I do believe Teddy Riley's, uh, has not only his vocals are on there, his vocoder and Aaron Hall's, but I believe a little bit of the production, he did some of this. So I'm glad that we got to the end here and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, well, I'm not glad we got to the end. I keep rambling, but uh, we got to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, let me know what you think um, by leaving a comment. Uh, hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that we get updates straight to your device. And uh, make sure that you share the video to somebody that may like the uh, song or want to know how it's made. Um, if you like these samples, please check the links out in the description. Subscribe and share and let me throw more vernacular at you or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, this is Martin Ross breaking down MC Hammer's Pumps in a Bump. Y'all take care.